welcome to the Surfcast Podcast, your weekly source for surf fishing discussions, tactics, interviews, news, and more. The Surfcast Podcast is hosted by Jerry Audette and Toby Lipinski, two of the most dedicated and obsessed surf fishermen that you will ever meet. The tide is up, the wind is at our back, so let's hit the surf. Hey there, welcome to the Surfcast Podcast. I'm Toby Lipinski. And I am Jerry Audette. You know, Toby, the other night you and I were fishing, and something really interesting happened that seems to happen a lot um, that I think is real, and I think you think it's real, um, and that's that you caught a fish, well, you almost caught a fish, you hooked a nice fish on your very last cast. So that's what we're going to talk about today. You want to take us through what happened? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, we were fishing the other night, and, I mean, we weren't doing great. We weren't doing bad, but we'd been out long enough. Night was starting to drag, and um, I had moved to a different rock, took a few casts, and did what we all do. In my head, I said, all right, this is the last cast. And when I say this is the last cast, it might, might not be. We can get to that later, but I said it on this time. Nothing different than any of the other casts. Bombed my darter out, took a couple of cranks, and got absolutely hammered. Hooked into a fish, started dumping line. I looked down towards where you were, and I think I saw you look over, and I just started laughing, and I said, I just said this was my last cast. And, of course, I ended up dropping the fish. It probably was hooked funny, which made it feel even better than it actually was. But, you know, there's no denying at that point that if nothing else, it was probably on the higher end of the fish that I had caught so far that night, if not, you know, potentially the heaviest fish. Um, And, like I said, it ran a couple times and popped off. And, I don't know, we stayed another 15, 20 minutes at least beyond that because... It's so hard That's right. to just walk away from that. That's right. Like I have an easier, I have an easier time walking away from landing a good fish and saying, "Cool, I'm out," than dropping a good fish and leaving because you know you're leaving that potential on the table of uh, what might have been there. But it was the perfect scenario that night of last cast, get a fish or a hit or something, and totally throw it off. So. I mean, you mentioned, you know, you you believe there's something there, there's something about it, it happens, whatever it is, like, what are your your thoughts on this? I mean, I got a lot of, a lot of ideas and and things, and I mean, I've had the conversation with my son telling him about it, like, I've planted that seed already with him to potentially believe in it, but, you know, what are you, what do you think about it? Well, so, the other thing that you, uh, uh, skipped over about the other night too is that after that last hit after that fish there was no more like that like there was nothing and yeah. what's interesting is that i remember a little bit at the time there was no like designation of like oh well now this is my last cast it was just like oh, forget it we're going home like we're getting out of here and i couldn't i couldn't believe it because we've been doing nothing for a long time like you said up mm-hmm. till that point so you know i am someone who doesn't believe in any kind of superstitions. I'm not a a lucky hat wearer or, you know, have to do a ritual or anything like that. Uh, (laughs) I used to, there was some music I liked to listen to prior to uh, each tide. And honestly, I got so sick of it. I couldn't do that anymore. And so it hasn't made any difference. So now it's been years of me not really doing that instead of usually just listening to some kind of book or Howard Stern or something. Um, So it's interesting then, knowing that, that I 100% believe that this is real. I, I, it happens too much for it not to be real. I have had the last cast phenomenon happen so many times. It's crazy. And I, I have all kinds of thoughts too. And I will just start with one of my theories, one of the reasons I think that maybe it's real. And so as people listen to this podcast, they're going to hear us talk about all kinds of philosophies that we are, that are core to our fishing and that are really important to us. One of the things that's really important to me is giving as natural a presentation as possible. And one of the ways that I do this is often by 
sort of trying to drift or subtly move my plug or basically get it to do not very much in the water, which is really counterintuitive to a lot of fishermen, but not doing a lot in the water is actually very natural. That's what a lot of creatures do. They're trying not to get noticed, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I think on that last cast, I'm already done. Like I've been done and I'm like, okay, this is just my last cast. And in my head, knowingly or unknowingly, I'm already, I'm already checked out. And so I cast that plug out there and I'm half-assing it. And when I half-ass it, I'm not digging it in as much. I'm not giving it any jerks or sweeps. I'm not doing anything. So I'm just like, oh God, please don't let me get in a hit because I just want to be done. <laughs> you know? Like I want to be done, but I got to yeah. give it one more cast for whatever reason. It could be a million reasons uh -huh. we can talk about that too. That'll come into play with my other theories. So I throw it out there and, you know, I basically just let it drift or, you know, whatever. And that's when I get a hit because up till that point, especially if it hasn't been good, which is usually when you start saying, okay, this is my last cast. Because if it's good, you either are like not going to leave or it's very clear when you have to leave, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe up to that point, I've been throwing all kinds of stuff and I've been trying all kinds of stuff. And then finally on that last cast, I'm like, okay, forget it. I'm just going to throw the darter or the sluggo or whatever it is that I think, you know, the dock, whatever it is that I think is going to be the most productive. And then I just kind of let it go. I just kind of let it drift. And so I haven't been cognizant of that until we are having this conversation, until we, we were mm -hmm. discussing this, right? So from this point forth, I'm going to be uh, trying to test that theory. The danger is, <laughs> if it's real, I don't want to destroy it because, you know, uh, <laughs> one of the fish I often think of is the 44-pounder I caught, uh, it would be almost four years ago now, where I was like, okay, three casts and I'm done, and it was two of three casts, and bingo, there she was, and I had zero hits the entire night, right? So that's pretty crazy. So that's one of my first theories, anyways. Well, it's funny you said, like, the difference between the last cast or just referencing there. Not so much saying this is the last cast, but saying I have three more casts or I have five more. I do that a lot. Like, the last, the single last cast very seldom comes up for me as this is the last cast. Other than, like, that night we, we were just out the other night, it happened then. But more often than not, for some reason, I give myself an odd number of casts. I don't, I don't know why. It's never four. It's never six. It's three. It's five. I don't even bother seven. That's just too much time. And like then I, I throw uh, uh, caveats in there. If the cast was bad, oh, that doesn't count. That doesn't count against my score of three casts. Uh, if it doesn't land where I wanted it to, you know, it's got to be like three or five good casts. And then I count them and then, you know, I'll get, because all those three, let's say it's three, could end up being six or four if there's a bad, or if I get a hit, if That's it's right. just a hit a lot of the times, if like that second of the three gets a hit, well, that one doesn't count against my score either. And I can turn three casts into another 45 minutes. And so often I should have just left the moment I thought three casts and I'm done because it's just, more often than not, it's turned into like a wasted time where it didn't produce occasionally it will but more often i could probably think of come up with more examples where i just should have left once my mind switches into that we're in that time of getting out of here so little like has ever been worth me sticking around and then i get to the point where it's been another 45 minutes and now my mind says you're still casting. You could be at home in the shower now, or you could be <laughs> in bed, or almost home. And then that starts weighing in. And oh, there's so many little that's and that's the stuff. Like I said, I, I've talked to Aiden about it. My son, I don't remember when, you know, at some point in time, it had to be early on, whether we were trout fishing, because it applies for me to trout, to surf, to fly fishing, yeah, boat. Same. Just yesterday, yeah. black fishing. We called last crab. <laughs> So many times to the point where I dumped the crabs over because I was like, we got to stop this. We got to get home. Right, right, right. And I've explained it to Aiden, like, you can't, you know, last cast is not necessarily last cast because there's, 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 you know, it could come back if you get a hit that washes it or and he, he, at first he didn't get it. And it was kind of funny. Now he's like, oh yeah, last cast, but that last cast didn't count or last this doesn't count. He's now doing the same thing, which I kind of feel a little guilty that I influenced him, but it's kind of funny that 
he's built that into his repertoire now too. <laughs> yeah. And so that's, so, so this brings up a question I'm going to ask you. So we talk about like numbers or, you know, I talk, I'm going to talk a lot about data and, you know, analyzing, like these are words I use, but last cast is a feeling, right? Would you say yeah. it's like a feeling? Yeah. Is that fair? Because I call last cast if it's dead. I call last cast when I'm hammering fish. I mean, I've walked away a couple weeks ago. I walked away from like cast after cast of fish, fish, fish. And I, I think that night I was like, all right, if I can get four in a row, I'm going home. So it's not just a way to cut a bad night for me. It's really, I almost need it to like round out an outing. You know, even, I mean, almost, I mean, I got to start thinking about as I go forward now, but I'd have to say almost every outing at some point, I kind of put that little cap on it because I know, I think if I don't, I'd still be there. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So that actually brings up an interesting point. It's a, it's a perfect transition into what I, another thing I wanted to say, which is that I think the last cast phenomena is real because for me, I'm trying to normally stay for a period of time that I know is a productive window. So if it's current or if it's tie depth or if it's, you know, I just know that if I'm there for a certain period of time and it doesn't happen, it's not going to happen, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's usually fairly precise. I mean, we're talking minutes, right? So for me, I think sometimes I'm, I'm trying to stick it up for the exactly the certain amount of time. And that last cast comes within that last five minutes of a window or the last 10 minutes. And so that's when the fish comes and that, mm-hmm. and oftentimes, you know, really that 10 minute window is all I should be fishing, but because I've driven <laughs> and walked and, and look, I'm not going to go fish for 10 minutes, right. For the yeah. chances of one to three, maybe five big fish. I'm going to go for two hours to quote unquote, and I'm air quoting right now, make it worth it. So then, of course, you're going to land a fish in the last cast because that's when the fish are coming. So when you get a fish on the third from last cast or five from the last, or it fouls and you're like, oh, man, I should cast again because this really could be it. And then you land. Of course, because Mm -hmm. that's it. That's the window. So it's not really about the last cast. It's about staying through that period that you're responsible for sticking it out through. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Which 100 percent until it's a night like the other night where that was just a random ass part of the tide. I mean... Because we had gone to one place. That was plan B. Plan A was not happening because of no. conditions. Yeah. So we got to plan B kind of a little later than I'd want to. But we fished through a couple of windows. And we were sort of into what I consider at that place like no man's land of you want to fish through this. You can fish through this period of the tide that is generally less productive on slow nights. It can be good when they're when they're in there and it's on and nothing matters. But like that night where it's slow, I may have said it to you. I know I was thinking it. Well, if I could go another two hours of nothing, now I hit that next productive window. But I was in no mental state that night to bother with it. So it was really like there was no reason. There there was no, uh, um, you know, there was nothing about that stage of the tide that is going in my logbook as, hey, that's a sexy point I want to hit again. (laughs) And that's why it's deep through. Yeah. And that's why it feels real. Right. Because that happens to me, too. Mm -hmm. That happens to me with every method, fly fishing. uh, And like you said, fresh water, it doesn't matter. So there's something real there. And I, you know, as much as I analyze and think about and perseverate on and get stuck on things, I've thought about this a lot. and, And there is a little bit of a mystery there for sure. And, and the only other thing that I really have, you know, this is true, I think, is that for that last cast, those last three casts or whatever, again, sort of with the, with the drifting or the speed or whatever it is that you're doing, maybe you try something. So like now all of a sudden it's my last cast and I was like, ah, finally in this last cast, I'm going to just go faster. You know, maybe it's not drifting. Maybe I'm going faster because I just want to be done or something like that. Beyond that, for my last few casts, I'm putting on the best lure. I'm, I'm going to get the, whatever the best plug or fly is or whatever. Or so best... you'll change what you have. You could be throwing, let's say, a needlefish, and then you designate last cast and you'll switch to a glide bait? Yes. So, 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 what, so, often, <laughs> yeah, so oftentimes what I'm doing is uh, uh, when I'm fishing, I'm like rotating, and you do the same thing, I think. We yeah. like rotate through a two or three or four reliables and then tossing in like a, a wild card. 
you know, mm-hmm. like darter, glide bait, soft plastic, then a metal lip, and then darter, glide bait, soft plastic, and then a needlefish. And then, you know, like I'm going through that kind of rotation. Well, if I'm doing bad and I'm already thinking about leaving, right? Because it's usually when I'm doing bad, but not always, like you said. It also happens when it's good, which is mm-hmm. weird. But oftentimes when it's bad, I've been trying a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm like, all right, all right, forget it. I'm just going back to the darter for the last five casts and I'm out of here because that's my mm. check-in lure, you know, or the, or maybe it's a bomber or it's a bucktail, but like your check-in lure is your final test of like, okay, it's really not going to happen. And I think also that influences, but it still doesn't make sense <laughs> because if you cast five times and it's still the last cast, why wasn't it the first cast of the last five? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. See, for me, it, it had that last whether it's last cast, last chunk of cast, it, it would, I don't change lures for it. I'll, like, let's say it's a darter. If I end up finishing on a darter, I've now cycled the darter in the rotation of plugs. And when I say, okay, last cast or three cast or five cast, I stay on it. I never swap it. I never in my head say, I'm going to something different for my last cycle. Sort of like in my head, I'm thinking, if I do that, I've started another step in the rotation or the next, you know, the ne- whether, you know, if there's three plugs, it's, or four plugs, you're on that next one. So I have to f- fish it through its piece of the cycle. And then it's either going in the bag and switching to another one and starting again, or I'm finishing off on this. Like I can't switch to something f- to finish it you know there's a couple like really you know odd rare occasions where i will i'll say look i'm gonna switch it up one cast but that's like a one cast thing i'll say i'm gonna do one cast with this and i'm gonna go and it's there's no good reason there's no like i think that this is gonna produce if i switch to a bucktail i'm not like oh the bucktail is gonna be it on this cast for whatever reason it's almost like a throwaway yeah interesting just get me out of the water if i do a plug change to finish it off that's interesting. So this actually raises a point I think I should clarify. So for me, that last plug switch is the end of the cycle. And so actually now that I'm thinking about it, which I had not until we're talking about it right now, <laughs> is that my last cast is probably actually a whole process that I'm not actually thinking quite so much about. So as I'm approaching the end of the night, I know I need to get through a whole cycle again of my plugs. And for me, a single cast with a plug means nothing. Like, I'll never do that. So, uh, you know, if I know, okay, these are the four or five plugs that I know are generally what works here, uh, especially if nothing has been working up to that point, I'm going to start that process of last cast 15 casts ago because I'm going to have gone through, okay, this is the last cast with the red fin. Okay, this is the last cast with this fast sinking needlefish. Okay, this is the last cast. And then I know, though my highest likelihood of plug what's going to work and i always end on that so uh. so for me i'm never i almost never i'm like ah you know ah hell i haven't thrown it at all tonight let's just throw a bottle plug i'll just you know whatever it's the last cast i i never do that maybe i should actually now that we're talking about it, maybe i should be trying that maybe that would <laughs> maybe that would give a different result you know you need the secondary wild card yeah, to go with you as the real closer. <laughs> yeah, I need like something just like super crazy, like a start carrying like a banana plug and like only yeah. throw that for the final, you know, or something, or like a uh-huh. like a flap tail. I'll have my final cast flap tail every yeah, single cast. No other, no other use. Yeah, maybe that. maybe that's a good experiment for twenty twenty four. Maybe I should do something like that, like the last cast flap tail. Yeah, that'd, that'd be funny. That'd be I, something I, I, like I, that, right? It'd have to be, and you'd have to like stick to it through the season. So it's got to be something that's going to work in a variety of situations. And I'm going to have to think on that too. That would be, that that, that could produce some either really boring data and just nothing or some real interesting results if something comes of it. And I, I'd want it to be for me, like a plug that I really don't do like you're saying the flap tail i got a few of them never done diddly on them so it'd be kind of cool to see if i can make something happen by forcing it in but are you ruining the phenomenon by forcing it that's the question right so now are you blowing up the whole thing that is sort of magic that produced like you know let's go back to that 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 
I mean, and it happens all the time, but I always think of that 44. Going back to that 44, I had put on a sluggo for those last three casts, and I had not been using it. So Mm. if I decided, okay, I got to the darter, and then was like, okay, well, oh, crap, I got to put on the flap tail. Well, I'll just skip the sluggo. You know, that's the process that we, and then you start to, if there's something there, then you start messing with your head and you start destroying it. Okay, well, this isn't my last cast because I got to make sure to remember. Or you go to leave. Oh, crap. I forgot to cast the flap tail. Yeah, what if? Yeah. And then they got to, you know, now you got to reset or like, oh, forget it. I'm not going to go back out here. So it's an interesting question. Here's the other question. And now we're not, you know, now we're going to talk about this. We're never going to end up doing it, which is funny. But I'm, <laughs> now I'm kind of like, this could be fun. It could um, be fun, but I'd be nervous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it would have to be something, like you said, that you could fish in every single condition. Flat, rough, wind, no yeah. winds, current, no current, deep, shallow. So now it's going to have to become something versatile, which probably already means it's a pretty good pluck. Or it's already in your rotation. Or it's already in your rotation, <laughs> right? So it's like... It's a needlefish, it's a bucktail, it's a lead head on something, or it's a, maybe a glider. Those would probably be the things I could think of that work yeah. for all of that stuff, right? Uh-huh. Well, at least we got some time to <laughs> think about this and the repercussions of it. And- yeah, now we're going to get harassed. People are going to be asking, <laughs> did you do it? Did you do it? But hey, if you like this idea, then you can do it. And then you can send in your results Mm-hmm. And maybe we'll talk about them and the podcast, different people's results, kind of take some notes from them. And maybe that's something we can follow up with. But no promises yeah. because, you know, yeah. we'll see, see where it goes. <laughs> see if anyone else puts as much unending thought in, in, in the way that we're doing it that, well, it could be this, but it could be that. And flipping it around and analyzing it and and, and may, being fearful of committing to it and what it might screw up overall and I'm sure there's others that think that way too, but I'm sure there's some of you out there that would be willing to just say, ah, screw it. I'm going to give that a try because that's kind of cool. Yeah. And my question now, Toby, is can it be anything but the flap tail? Because we talked about it so much. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking, I, I have one right over there on the shelf that like, I see it all the time and I'm like, I got to fish that thing. And season after season after season goes. Actually, no, there's two of them. There, there's two of them up there. So that, oh, man, that might have to be it. Maybe I'll just finish this season out doing that with the flap tail. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. I, I don't have any, so I'd have to get one. Uh, uh, I'll have to like harangue Dave into making me one or something because I know he was making mm-hmm. those for a while with yeah. his fancy boxes. One of those is Dave's up yeah. there and the other is a GRS. The, yeah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Well, we'll see. I mean, you know, this is, I think it's real. I think other people probably think it's real, but maybe they haven't noticed. So maybe you need to start paying closer attention if you haven't noticed it and Maybe this is a fun experiment for us for 2024. This has been a weekly edition of the Surfcast Podcast. You can find out more about the podcast and find more episodes at surfcastpodcast.com. Be sure to check us out on social media at the Surfcast Podcast.